Hello there, and welcome to the training of business process automation tool, Aura. Today, I'm going to show you how to build an Excel automation using Aura, and we're going to cover how to loop through rows in an Excel file and populate them into the RPA Challenge website. Here's the Excel file that we're going to use that contains all the columns needed to fill out the required information on the RPA Challenge website. As you can see, it's got five rows, each with all individual values within. Now let's open up the Aura Desktop Assistant and build our workflow. Let's name the workflow as Automate Excel. Click Create. Let's call the, and in Aura, we can declare variables by prefixing them with the dollar sign. So let's go ahead and create one called My Excel and point it towards that user list file that we just created. Now, as you can see here, there's a worksheet name, but it's optional. But in this case, we want to add it as an RPA challenge. But in the event that we don't want to populate that, it's just going to be set as the default page, the first page within that Excel file. Now we want to open the RPA Challenge website. Let's call the website URL RPA site and point it at rpachallenge.com. We can basically simply navigate to the command or we can use the add command wizard. So here we're going to just say navigate to and place our RPA site variable within there. For looping through the records in the Excel file, we can easily find commands in the add command wizard. So open up the add command wizard, go to looping and iterating for each loop. And inside of this field, you're going to want to type in my Excel. And click on add and then close. So inside of here, we're going to add in some logic, right? But we're going to first use a pause. What that's going to allow the operation to do is basically puts a breakpoint that then allows us to add in our variables dynamically. So we can see exactly what's going on when we run it. So obviously we just hit start. We've launched the page. Let's get the web page out of the way and over here on the side you can see the variables they're all going to be listed out with dollar sign underscore and the name of the variable now, as you can see here we're going to put a switch to the rpa website now basically what that's going to do is allows us to tell Aura that we now want to use the Excel file. But in this case, we want to use the website to populate our user commands. So for this one, we're going to enter in the first name. Um, last name. As last name, as you can see on the right side, that's where we're literally populating our values from. And we're going to do company name. All right, now we're going to do the <clears throat> role in company. Next is going to be email. Then we've got address. And uh, then we hit the submit button after phone number so as you can tell that we only used force detection in that first variable and the reason for that is once you do a force detection once you're no longer going to need to do it for the rest because it just automatically falls through the rest of those because the entire web page is going to be force detected on which has all those text boxes within them which means that you've only got to use it once. Now we're going to switch back to our Excel file. And update our completed to field. 
to basically tell the program that, hey, you know, we've updated all of our information. We're going to go to the add command wizard, do a set set of value while looping from an Excel file and then place your is completed field within this target column. And then you're going to say yes, click add, and then we're going to make sure that everything else is good. Go ahead and delete the pause out since we've already utilized all of our information that we need. Okay, we're going to save the workflow and it's uh, ready to launch. Go ahead and close out the Excel file so it doesn't get overstepped on by the automation. Kill the program. And then go ahead and click start and watch it loop through our list. So there's obviously five rows, so it's going to go through this thing five times. Each updating the values as they come in from the, the file. As you can see, the text boxes are actually changing, but uh, the force detect that we put on the first line for first name is automatically seeing this and making sure that all the other fields get updated as well. And if you can see the speed of this thing, it's quite accurate and very fast. With minimal code, since it has its own proprietary language and patented AI machine learning algorithm to recognize these updated changes in the boxes. All right, 100% done. Let's go ahead and pop that Excel file open. See if we have our is completed field filled out, and we do. So that concludes this video on populating fields from an Excel file as input. Thank you and have a nice day.